Hi, my name is William Lowe and I'm an illustrator and a painter. I was trained traditionally. I've been an illustrator now for about 25 years and for the first half of that time I created artwork with oils or acrylics. And in the back of the studio you can see examples of some of my traditional work. Um, the lighthouse was done is oils on panel and about halfway through, the career, through my career I switched over to the computer. Of, of, of the books I've done, I say the first three children's books were created with oils and then pastels and then acrylics. But from that point on, I worked exclusively on a computer. I really wanted the computer to be as close to my traditional painting as possible. Now, I, knew that, I know that I would never be able to do the same, make the same kinds of marks on a computer as with real paint. But the intention was to learn how to, to fine tune the craft of mark making and juxtaposing that with the computer's power to work on complex compositions. It was just a natural evolution for me. And the program that I'm using is Photoshop. And a lot of people that use Adobe Photoshop mostly use it to manipulate photographs, um, collaging, that kind of thing. But I like to paint on it. And because I am traditionally trained, I like to use a pen to draw right on the computer screen. And when you look at the Adobe Photoshop, there's a lot of different kinds of palettes. On the left-hand side, you have a toolbar, you have all these other palettes for color. And what I'm drawing on right now is a pressure-sensitive screen. It's a, it's a Wacom, Wacom Cintiq tablet, and it's pressure-sensitive to a thousand levels. The nice thing about the Wacom tablet is that when I make a mark, there's pressure sensitivity. The lighter the touch, the thinner the line, and as I bear it down, it becomes thicker, thinner, thicker. I have a wide variety of brushes that I can use. Here, you have brushes that look like it could be charcoal. Ah, oh, didn't like that one. Let's try another one. That looks like charcoal. Um, and I'll show you my favorite brush right now. It's this one, which has the look and feel of a brush dipped in ink, and it's just beautiful. Whenever you paint traditionally, you always reach a point where you either decide to play it safe with a painting, or you, you want to take a chance. And that can sometimes stop you from, from, from taking chances, because you're always afraid of messing up a painting. Well, the great thing about the computer is that I, I now have the option of just trying something just for the sake of it. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, then I could always just undo it or go back to an earlier version of it. The point is that I'm able to experiment freely and not really worry about messing it up because I could always go back to an earlier version of it. The painting I'll, I'll be creating for you will be a, a painting from the book Machines Goes to Work. And it is one of the first illustrations for, for a cement mixer. I'm going to make this really colorful, really bold, very graphic version of it. The cement mixer is a large drum, which has a little chute in the back. See, uh, you can see that there's some green in here that I like. I'm going to use this. I need some, add some warmth to that. And one night I would read Old Penn Station to, to, to my son, Timmy, and after the book was done, and it ends very sadly because they tear down Penn Station, and Timmy says to me, Dad, why are your books always so serious? And I said, oh, well, I don't really mean to create only serious books, but I really just wanted to create artwork for books that I think are really interesting. I mean, I like funny books, but I just don't think I'm the right kind of artist for that. And Timmy goes, but Dad, you're really funny sometimes. So then I said, you know, gosh darn it, the next book is going to be fun. <laughs> and so my plan was to do something fun. And, um, and here we have machines. And it's, it's a lot of fun. It's very, very different for me. It's kind of a new project for me. I'm very excited about it. And it's a series of mini dramas of, about machines. And each mini drama starts off with an introduction to what the machine is. And then there's always like a little bit of a problem. In this case, we have a cement mixer that is going to run over a rusty nail. 
and as a result, there's going to be a flat tire. So that's the problem. Here's a big cement mixer. It hits a nail, flat tire, big problem. And so then there's like a small little white pickup truck that comes along to save the day. Which I like that, you know, big machine, big problems, little guy saves the day. When I paint traditionally, I always like to look at look at my, my picture through a mirror to look for mistakes. And because I'm working on a computer screen, I don't really have that option looking in a mirror. So I could just use a little shortcut key to just to flip it. And when you look at it in reverse, you always see all, all the mistakes. And then when you, when you correct the mistakes, then you can always move it right back again. The wheels are in the wrong spot. That's better. Now in the good old days of paint and brush, I would have to repaint that. 